I can't see far away. I'm nearsighted and I have a problem. I've been wearing glasses for 20 years and not a fun thing. And I know a lot of people who've come to Dr. De La Russo have had the eye surgery and I've seen them the next day at school picking up their kids. So I looked into it and I'm very excited. The, the beginning of, uh, of uh, Sophia's examination starts with some preliminary tests. The one she's undergoing right now is our basic uh, test to determine, well, as to measure the um, uh, what we call the refractive error, that is her amount of nearsightedness or astigmatism that she may have. Uh, there'll be other tests to be done. There'll be done. She'll have a glaucoma test done, have a vision um, test without glasses, and um, then we'll take her to other rooms where we're going to uh, perform some Should other tests. Right there. I'm going to have Dr. Della Russo who's going to come in in a few minutes and going to examine you. Okay. okay? This particular test is called corneal topography or mapping of the natural contours of the eye. It's particularly important um, for us prior to surgery uh, basically to rule out um, diseased corneas, corneas that are misshapen. And that's what we're going to be doing right now. Michael's going to be doing this test on each eye. Good. Perfect. To have the surgery, your eyes have to be totally healthy, right? Now we know that from the maps that we uh, used before, that we measured before, that your eyes are, have a normal, normal uh, shape. So we have to make sure that your eyes are very healthy this way here. Your cornea looks very nice and healthy. Your lids look good. The white part of your eye looks fine. Okay, no disease. Your eyes are very healthy. Sophia, so as a result of all these examinations, I can tell you that you are an excellent candidate for the procedure. I think what we should speak about before we go to the surgery is, is this surgery risk-free? No, it's not risk-free. And like everything else, nothing is 100%. And we do know that um, there are certain risks, but in actuality, the risks are diminished a great deal by the experience of the surgeon, as well as his team, and the highest of technology that he may be applying. For example, we think, for example, that uh, contact lenses are risk-free, right? Well, any, anybody who's ever had an ulcer from a, from a uh, contact lens knows it's not risk-free. Uh, but uh, statistics have shown that uh, when LASIK is performed by an experienced a LASIK surgeon using the latest of techniques, LASIK is no more uh, riskier than the use of contact lenses.